writer struggles with proofreading and editing their own work, especially their own creative work. It's not enough to ensure our writing is grammatically correct. We want to ensure that we use the most effective and efficient language to communicate what we want to communicate. We proofread our literary work to ensure the following, that language and substance reads clearly, as in the reader knows what everything means and what is happening, and that the work delivers something like the intended effect the reader feels or connects in a way we desire. An editor or anyone who proofreads our work will identify how language usage does not communicate clearly. A plain and simple sentence may not adequately communicate a character's feeling. A complicated sentence may muddle an intended effect for a reader. As we reach second, third, and fourth drafts of our work, consider these proofreading tips. Always review spelling and grammar, more than once. Verify everything is spelled correctly and uses correct grammar, or that an incorrect use serves a purpose, like for dialogue or for dramatic effect. Purposefully incorrect spelling and grammar should communicate something about the character or context, but not confuse the reader. Read the entire work out loud as written or ask someone else to. When reading out loud, ask, does the work feel long? Does everything flow together? A work will feel long if the work doesn't flow, if paragraph A doesn't connect to paragraph B, or if stanza A connects to stanza B using too much time or too little. Ask, does the grammar represent the way we want the work to sound in our heads? When I read this sentence out loud, do I need a pause right here? Then I should add a comma. For fiction, write down an outline or timeline of events in the story. Ask, do all the actions have a setup? Are all of the Chekhov's guns fired? Before writing another draft, let's write an outline or timeline and review things and situations we set up and its use in subsequent passages. If a character shares a cancer diagnosis early in a story, but we never refer to it later, or it ultimately doesn't play a major role in the story, then we should reconsider if we need this situation. For poetry, verify that all the imagery connects or flows with each other. Ask, does something feel out of place, like a tangent? Even a stream of consciousness work has some structure or anchor it flows from. The 28th stanza in a long stream of conscious poem should have some connection, some lineage from the first core stanzas, in the same way that a part of a jazz improvisation five minutes in still sounds like it belongs with the first few chords or the first melody of the song. Read the work backwards, then ask, does every line flow from the previous line? And finally, verify the voice and perspective. Read and ask, does the voice or perspective change unintentionally? Does one section sound different from what was written before? Proofreading can feel daunting. I discourage proofreading until after some time away from writing the work to have fresher, clearer eyes about what you're reading. It can feel easy to talk ourselves down if we catch too many errors. We need the mindset that we can correct any and every mistake. Mm -hmm.